Hello, hello, beautiful souls. Wow, another week has gone past and time flies, doesn't it? I can't believe it's nearly Christmas. We are all in full swing to get ready for that. How about you? What's been happening for you? Um, so today is Ask Me Anything, and I received a really great question from Maria Sonnefil, and she is one of our beautiful community members based in Belgium. And she had a question, how can I find out what happens to me in a past life? That is an amazing question, and I love talking about that as well. Um, before I continue on, if you are watching for the first time, I'm actually streaming live through StreamYard. And if you want me to see your comments, then please go to StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook first so that I can actually see who's commenting on the feeds as well. So how can I find out what happened in a past life? Now, I've got a very beautiful friend, Tony Riley, who's also part of our community. And she is the specialist on past lives. So Tony, if you're watching, feel free to comment and even afterwards to um, leave some comments as well, because I'm sure you can add a lot more information to this. So I'm answering the question based on my knowledge of past lives and my personal experience on past lives as well. Hello, hello, welcome. If you've just joined us, um, the question for today is, how can I find out what happened in my past life? And so past lives are very interesting. From my experience, I know that when we are born, we actually do not remember our past lives. And I personally believe that that is a good thing because we can actually start to dwell on that, right? And live in the past. That's not what we want. So we wanna make sure that we live our lives very consciously, very much in the moment and actually enjoy what we are creating in our current life. Now, sometimes we may experience some trauma or certain things that have happened um, in the past life that has an effect on this lifetime here. Now, there are some ways that we can actually look at that. And um, it is a great way to do that because sometimes we do have an experience right now and we can't identify why is it that we may behave in a certain way, that we may think in a certain way, that we have these sort of experiences coming up all the time. You know how you might feel sometimes that you are doing certain things and you don't get the same results, but it seems like you can't break the habit of the way you're doing it either. Now, that could relate to maybe having some blockages right now that you need to clear to be able to change the habits. Sometimes we actually need to go a little bit deeper than that. And it can be very useful to go back to a past life to discover and find out what may have happened back then that could have an effect right now in this current lifetime. Now, and I'm talking about past lives as if, you know, you all know what I'm talking about, because I know that this can be quite an interesting topic and not everybody believes that we have numerous lifetimes as a soul being. Not everybody believes that you know, we have come from somewhere else. Now, personally, I have had a number of personal uh, past lives as well. One of the ones that stands out is um, when I went on a trip to China and I had a very, very personal and emotional experience in certain temples and also on the Chinese wall. And so I was quite interested in that. Hello, Diana. Welcome. Wonderful to have you. And I was quite interested in finding out why that is. In particular, on one of the trips to a particular town, I walked into a temple and for some reason I knew exactly what to do to go into the temple, to prepare myself for it, um, you know, where to go, what to use, how to be in that environment. And at the time I was traveling by myself, but I had a, a student with me who translated for me. And she also helped me to understand more about the Chinese culture. And she was looking at me and she said, wow, how do you know all this? I've not even explained to you what to do. And I actually don't know. For some reason I was just doing it. And the next experience I had was, and it sort of felt like I had been there before. And then I went to the Chinese wall 
And I was really emotional. I was in awe of being there, the, the magnitude of it, the, the whole energy around the Chinese wall was amazing. But then it became really emotional when I climbed up the wall and I walked a little bit further down. And so it was so overwhelming and I felt so sad and there was a lot of grief coming up. And I came home and I thought, wow, I actually need to work with it because it kept simmering in the back of my mind why that happened and where that came from. And then someone spoke to me about past lives as well. And they said, look, that might be something you'd be interested in to explore. So I actually did a, what they call a past life regression. That means that through a meditative state, you can actually go back into time and be taken to a particular past life where you may need to learn what you need to learn to then apply it in this lifetime as well, or to resolve something in this lifetime. So I did a past life regression. And yes, hundreds of years ago, I did live in China and I was involved in the Mongol war. The Mongols and the Chinese had a massive big war. And I was there to help the children, to save them from the war. But I actually got killed on the wall. And that was that whole emotional, you know, all that that came up for me. And once I understood that, I was like, wow, that's actually really fascinating. So I have been back into a past life a few times. Just, I mean, a couple of times, just out of curiosity <laughs> to say, hang on a minute, where have I been? Who was I in that time? You know, because often the question I'm being asked as well is, if we reincarnate, do we reincarnate as a woman or a man or, or an animal, you know, how does all that work? And so sometimes, you know, I was really curious and then I just went back to check on a past life. Now, I've also been back because I felt something was happening here and now that I couldn't resolve. And I felt there was nothing here that has occurred for me to have this experience. And then I also went back to a past life to resolve what I can do here. So, for example, my fear of heights doesn't just come from this lifetime. There are two other lifetimes that had an effect on me being afraid of heights. So every time I do go somewhere where there is a height, I work my way through that to actually still enjoy doing certain activities that does involve some height. But it made me understand why I'm afraid of heights and that gave more clarity for me as well. So when Maria asked me that question, I thought this is really interesting to talk about. And there is so much more that we can explore around this. Personally, I also feel that exploring your past life, when you are not known to this, make sure that you do find someone who is an expert that can guide you to your past lives. Doing this by yourself, I feel is, you can do it. There's no doubt about it, you can do it. However, knowing that someone is there guiding you, that can step in at any point when you know, you might feel really uncomfortable or things come up that you may not be able to process is really important. And there are many people that do this. Now, as I said earlier on, uh, my dear friend, Tony Riley, she is an expert in past life regression and she can certainly help with that as well. And it's a wonderful process. You know, I believe that having this experience, it really helped me in this lifetime as well. And that's a way of being really kind to yourself, being curious about things and yeah, just having that open mind and know that there is so much more out there than just us here, you know, having this experience right now. Hello, Mel, lovely to have you. So if you have any questions, let me know, just pop it below in the comments. Um, so yes, past lives can certainly have an effect on us here and it may not have an effect at all. You know, sometimes we don't even remember our past lives, but I also know that people do remember their past lives as well. Um, I saw a documentary, I think it was last year, where a boy in England kept telling his parents he, that he wanted to go back to his other mum. And they actually found a specialist and they, they went through 
where his other mum lives and he could describe the house and everything really clearly as if it happened right now. And that was also one of his past lives that he clearly remembered and he missed his other mum so much. And it's a fascinating concept to me because I have known all along that when we come into this lifetime, everything that previously happened has been closed off. We've experienced it, we've, you know, we've taken our learnings from it, et cetera, et cetera, and it's closed off because we need to be fully focused on this lifetime here. I also know that we sign a sacred contract when we come into this life to confirm what we want to do, what we want to learn, who do we want around us, etc. And that sets some sort of path for us as well. We have the experiences in this moment and we usually don't look back if we don't have to. We only look back to learn from things, not look back to dwell on it. We also don't look into in the future as in, I really need to get there because then we lose focus on what's happening right now. And sometimes having that opening to the past life is important, but it's very important that it's closed off. I've also spoken to a baby once who was just born and I spoke to the baby before she was born as well but once she was born these parents could not keep her quiet she was crying and crying and crying and crying all the time and her mom actually connected with me she goes look you talk to animals but could you talk to a baby as well and I go well <laughs> happy to give that a go and you know soul to soul connection you can talk to any being at a soul level so I ended up talking to the baby. Why are you crying so much? And this went on for weeks and weeks on end. Anything they did, they couldn't keep her quiet. And she was really, really upset. And she goes, I don't know what's happened, but all of a sudden I'm a small baby. I have tiny hands. I can't speak. I've got strange people around me and I don't know what happened. I go, what do you mean? She goes, well, one minute I'm driving in a car and the next minute I can't talk, everything's tiny, strange people around me. And she was crying because nobody was listening to her. Nobody, she couldn't explain. So she moved from one lifetime straight into this lifetime at her moment of passing. She switched bodies straight away. And that was amazing for me to discover. And yeah, that definitely, you know, got me to learn more about that. So whatever your beliefs are, if you do have any experiences or habits or things that are happening to you right now that you can't explain, it may be a great tool in your toolkit to find someone who could potentially take you back to a past life to see if anything in a particular life has happened that has an influence right now on you. And that could potentially help you with healing with finding out more about who you are as a soul being but also it may help you even you know to progress further in this lifetime as well so i hope that has helped i hope that has you know cleared things up for a few people here as well and certainly for you mariah i hope that definitely cleared things up for you as i said happy to talk about this happy to guide you in the right direction um, but i'll put some details in the comments as well about my friend Tony. Um, she does amazing work. She has been doing this for many years. She also has a podcast. Um, part of her podcast is about past lives as well. She lives and breathes it too. So I've learned a lot from her too. And um, yeah, it's a fascinating topic. So happy, happy to keep this communication open around this. If you have any question for ask me anything, send me a message or pop it in the comments below and we'll add it onto the list and it will definitely be answered. So all I can say, have a wonderful week and we'll see you again next week. Bye for now.